Dennis, great to have you. The last time you were on, you were talking about the founding of Austin Gold back in 2020, four years ago, and the listing, the IPO. And you said, you know, you use previous exploration and complement it with modern technology. But you also tell a great story about Lone Mountain and how it was family owned. And there was a shack on the property, a shed on the property. Tell me about that, the shed. Sure, the, the, the shed was, uh, <laughs> thanks that. The shed was actually not on the property. It's in a little town called Elko, about 25 miles away. And uh, the interesting thing about that is it, it apparently had some data in it that was, you know, this, this Lone Mountain project has been owned by one family for 60 years, two generations. And they had they, they had leased this shed for uh, to hold some of the data, to store the data. And so we asked them, gee, we want to review that data. Can we get the key? And uh, <laughs> they couldn't find it. They hadn't been in that shed for so long. They didn't know where the key was, and we had to cut the lock off. So is that the, is that the story you were referencing? That, that was the story I'm talking about. I laughed for the longest time. I, I thought it was poor samples in the shed. I actually didn't understand what was in the shed. So that's interesting. Well, we didn't, we didn't know what was in the shed. And, of course, neither did they. they <laughs> it's been so long since they'd been there. Well, the interesting part about Lone Mountain is it's uh, you know, close to the Carlin trend. And it has, you described it as lower plate window structure. What does that mean? Sure. So in this part of Nevada, by the way, this part of Nevada is the richest gold district in North America and one of the richest gold districts in, in the world. But uh, what the lower plate window means is you have in this part of Nevada, the upper plate rocks sitting on top of the lower plate rocks. That, that sounds logical enough. And uh, a lower plate window is where you get erosion through the upper plate that exposes the lower plate. And it's the lower plate rocks in this part of Nevada that host these big, these very large uh, gold deposits, Carlin type gold de deposits they're called. Uh, in the Carlin trend itself, over 93 million ounces of gold has been mined out of 40, over 40 individual ore bodies that have been discovered in about a six mile long trend. And uh, just that, that's just, uh, west of us, about 20 miles. And then just north of us, you have the Jarrett Canyon Independence Trend, where another almost 9 million ounces has been mined uh, over the years. And, and all of those deposits, again, all of them were found uh, in these lower plate windows where you get exposure to the lower plate. All the, all the, color, all the gold at the Carlin Trend has also been discovered in these lower plate windows or very nearby the lower plate windows. So uh, having a lower plate window is very important and at Lone Mountain we have the next window in the series it's called the Lone Mountain window of course and uh that that's we're pretty excited about this project getting out there and exploring okay but there was a mine there before uh what are you doing to enhance that or are, are you drilling more so we, we we do plan to drill uh the previous mine or there is a small mine past producing mine on the property it was produced back in the 1940s and uh it was a silver lead zinc mine uh it, it, it wasn't big it was, it's a small little mine and i we haven't done uh, a whole bunch of work in that area uh because uh, the, the thought is it's it, other people have gone in the past and, and drilled some holes uh around that project area and uh it, you know, at this point, it's, it's not a big focus for us. Uh, we believe that that project, that, that deposit has been exhausted. Uh, but we do plan on drilling at Lone Mountain. We Before we drill, we're going to do a lot more surface work. Uh, we planned um, this summer for over 2,000 samples, for example, in a soil sampling program. I put those on a grid 100 meters by 100 meters, and you're able to get a good determination of where you're getting indications of gold, either through the uh, arsenic, antimony, mercury type metals, but also gold itself, of course, is a good pathfinder for gold. And, uh, and then we'll do some stream sediment sampling, some geologic mapping. And we've just done, uh, late last year, we did a, a gravity survey. And that gives you an idea of where your structures are. So in these deposits, you're looking for structures. And of course, uh, the gold is a pathfinder the toxic metals is a pathfinder and uh, once you've done all that work you focus your targets and then you go drill and we're hoping to drill by the end of this year at Lone Mountain oh okay by the end of the year so the timeline to look forward is next spring for Lone Mountain results 
Uh, quite possibly. It depends upon, of course, how backed up labs are. Actually, interesting enough, last year when we were looking for a drill rig, we had trouble actually getting a drill rig because there was there was in such high demand and 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 so on. This year, the drill rig companies are calling us saying, "Hey, do you have any work for us?" So we have uh, it's a big difference right now. We've we've got access to all the uh, equipment and the facilities we need. It, it, it looks like I want to move to uh, Oregon and Stockade Mountain there, and uh, the system there is called Shattered Glass Model Stocks Work uh, System. Uh, tell you should explain that. Yes, yeah, sure. So a stock work system. Uh, if you imagine uh, someone throws a rock and hits the windshield of your car. It's going to shatter where you have all these cracks and uh, stock work systems where all these uh, cracks, banelets, carry gold values. And uh, at uh, in Oregon, Stockade Mountain, uh, three major mining companies were in there in the 1980s and 1990s and drilled several holes shallow because they were looking for an open pit type deposit. And this uh, fractured, shattered glass stock work type system is is amenable to open pit because you scoop everything up and you get those those cracks carrying the gold values well back then 30 25 years ago oregon decided they were not going to allow open pit mining so those companies walked away and left this project alone it's been sitting there for 20 years uh, without any activity but the interesting thing about it is these stock work uh, windshield cracks if you will that carry gold values have a feeder system. Typically you have a feeder system, a vein, if you will, a feeder vein that uh, is typically much richer and much larger than the cracks, the, the veinlets you're getting near the surface. So our exploration program at uh, Stockade Mountain is to search for uh, the feeder system. And <clears throat> we drilled three holes last uh, earlier, like late last year, earlier this year, and we're getting results of upwards of nine grams over two and a half to four feet, but that's still in the stock work. So those are good grades and not quite thick enough uh, yet, but but that gives us a very strong indication that the system is very robust and contains very significant gold value. So we're we're pretty excited about stockade as well. How much uh, future drilling uh, do you anticipate and when would those results come out? So at stockade, we're actually planning to go in uh, later this summer uh, with a reverse circulation program. And, uh, but at Starcade, um, very typical on these programs in Oregon and in Nevada, through the BLM Bureau of Land Management, you're only allowed five acres of, of disturbance. And so um, with Starcade, with road building to get into the project and so on, uh, it confines the amount of drilling we can do at Starcade. So we're doing what's called a plan of operations. It's a much bigger, uh, permitting process, but it gives you much more flexibility on, on where you drill. So we're going through that process, uh, although we can still drill under our five acres uh, disturbance. So we're we're quite active at, at Stockade. Dennis, great chat. Thanks so much for your time. Pat, thank you. Thanks for inviting me.